Yeah. One of the signature moves, man. He hit that shoulder block. It pretty much took you out almost. Right now, here we go. Sweet justice from Melvin Thompson. We might have a new world champion right here. We have to have a new world champion. Hooks the leg. Wait a minute. We got Cynthia Sharp right now. Distracting the referee before he can even start making the count, man. Oh, God, a clothesline by Sheldon Mondo coming up from behind Melvin Thompson and knocking his lights out. You gotta be kidding me right now. Sharp here with the steel chair. What the hell is going on here? The referee's distracted right now, but he's paying attention to Melvin Thompson and Sheldon Mondo. This isn't the way that you want to prove that you're a world heavyweight champion. You saw, oh, come on now. A chair shot over the skull of Melvin Thompson. Look at Cynthia Sharp. She's getting the she's getting the evidence out of the ring. Oh, then Mondo. So, oh, no, the no, Melvin Thompson no, still has the, something left. No, He's still kill. going. He's still fighting. Sweet justice by Melvin Thompson. And oh, what the hell? Get out of the ring. What is Cynthia Sharp to get the hell out of the ring? You're not even involved in this match. Oh, so then Mondo rolls out of the ring. Look at this, a shoulder block off of the ropes. And now Melvin Thompson has Sheldon Mondo down again. He's going to go for another sweet just. You can, there you go, elbows to his face. You see that, uh? Come on, Melvin Thompson is so close. No! Oh my God! Oh my! Tiger blood bomb by Sheldon Mondo. One, two, oh, come on! Live Fight Zone Wrestling, George Terry versus Gene Duncan for the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. It continues here tonight, as well as the Tag Team Championship Tournament. We're going to see Milt teaming up with newcomer Jerry Mercer to take on Galler and Jerry Jacobs, another newcomer to Fight Zone Wrestling here tonight. I'm scared to see the return of Galler. What's gonna happen when he returns here tonight? And then something else that scares me, this this woman that we now know is named Virginia, this giant is gonna take on Teresa Phelps here tonight on Fight Zone Wrestling. Let me say something as we get the show started real quick, hypnosis. This woman, Virginia, man, is monster. She's about to tear Teresa Phelps apart, man. And then another thing, Broken Matt Hardy coming up here in, in Fight Zone Wrestling, attacking Sheldon Mondo last week. Is that how you get a world championship match? You know what, after this match, I should beat down Matt Hardy if he wins the title and get myself a world championship match. Well, we thought the FZW chairman, the owner of the company, Carter Ramirez, was gonna make a major announcement last week. However, Dixie Carter was the one that made the major announcement. She came out here, and now she's the new president of Fight Zone Wrestling. And Carter Ramirez, acting as the chairman, appointing her that position. This match will be scheduled for one fall in a 20 minute time limit, making his way to the ring first. George Terry! And George Terry's gonna do everything he can to become the first inaugural Intercontinental Champion, Flair. Remember, man, what he did to you to beat you for that World Championship opportunity, Flair. And a low blow, man, took you out of the tournament. 
in first win. Yeah, he cost me my opportunity at the World Championship, but it's okay now because I got my revenge in the end, and I beat George Terry for an opportunity at the World title. Sheldon Mondo, unfortunately, defeated me, but I got my revenge against George Terry at least. Yeah, but at what cost? You could have been in this Intercontinental Championship tournament hypnosis, and instead, you got kicked in your head, and you got taken out, and now you're on the injury list with a concussion. Hey, what's going on with Gene Duncan, by the way? How come he not doing his whole real American gimmick? I have no idea what's going on with Gene Duncan. All I know is he 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 went to Carter Ramirez. He even was on YouTube. He's taking the videos down now, but he was shooting on Fight Zone Wrestling saying how they won't let him be himself. He's the one that came up with the idea to be Hulk Hogan. So if he wanted to be Hulk Hogan, he could have did that. He was the one that came up with it and pitched it. And now that he got some attention, he was talked about on the pilot episode of Fight Zone Wrestling. Now all of a sudden he wants to have a bad attitude and act like he should be a world champion now. He should have won his match against the Brain in the World Championship Tournament. And maybe he would have. He better win this Intercontinental Championship Tournament match if he wants to move up in the ranks and become that, and come that step closer to the Intercontinental Championship, become the inaugural Intercontinental Champion. And the Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, their Intercontinental Championship, as well as WWE's Intercontinental Championship, some prestigious titles in those organizations, Fight Zone Wrestling, looking to have another Intercontinental Championship, and fighting to have the most prestigious Intercontinental Championship in our organization, even more prestigious than the WWE and New Japan Pro Wrestling, player. Yeah, admittedly, that's a lot of pressure on... Wait a minute, we got a cover here. One? No, not even going to be a one. But anyways, like I was saying, that's a lot of pressure for Fight Zone Wrestling. Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP, the very first Intercontinental Champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's the first IWGP Intercontinental Champion for New Japan Pro Wrestling. And in the WWE, of course, Pat Patterson was their Intercontinental Champion, their inaugural Intercontinental Champion, who will be the first Intercontinental Champion in Fight Zone Wrestling. Gene Duncan trying to move up in the rankings here. Trying to move up in this tournament to get that one step closer. But George Terry, he wants it as well. These two were unsuccessful at the World Championship Tournament. Hopefully they can have more success in the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. They better have more success in the Intercontinental Title Match Tournament, man. They got to get that title, man, and become the first champion. But not only that, they got to be willing to do everything that they can to keep that title plan. Show that Mondo's the first ever wrestling world champion here in Fight Zone Wrestling. George Gene Duncan just hit his whole face up on the man. Here comes George Terry, man. What's he gonna go for here? He's a cruiserweight that wrestles like a heavyweight, man. But he can fly every now and then. One, two. He didn't get him, though. Really nice move, though. Great match to get things started off here on Fight Zone Wrestling, I agree. man. I agree. Tonight, we're gonna see that big giant Virginia. I'm very interested in seeing who this Virginia is. You got any more information on it, player? Yeah, Do you I have actually, any more information on this giant? Uh, I'm trying to explain Because I really want to know. I'm trying to tell you right now. Right, I'm just saying. I'm trying to tell you more about Virginia. Jesus. I talked to Dr. Noon earlier. Got some more information on her. All I know is she's from, from Russia. Her hometown is in Russia, uh, apparently. So Virginia, she comes from, from Russia. Her name, of course, is Virginia. That's all I pretty much got from Dr. Noon, but it is enough. So far, we're gonna see, oh, oh wait a minute, we got Gene Duncan going for that leg drop, but he misses. And like I was saying, Virginia, we're gonna see her later on tonight. We're gonna learn even more about her, but I got enough information to at least say something, but I at least know her name and know where she's from. We're gonna find out what she's made of here tonight when she enters the ring. Remember, there's been, there's been a few guys, there's been a lot of big guys in MMA and professional wrestling who just didn't live up to the hype. I mean, they were big size, big guys, still got taken down relatively easy. And they used their size advantage to look threatening, but never really could back it up. Guys like Andre the Giant, the Big Show, even the Great Khali, they're guys that have been able to back it up. Of course, Great Khali maybe 
got a little lazier since he became the world champion. I mean, no disrespect to Great Khali, but he was a monster when he first stepped in WWE. He destroyed The Undertaker. And then, after becoming the world champion, he seems to have got a little more too, too comfortable, as the bare word put it. I wouldn't say lazy, but he's got very, uh, very comfortable. Too comfortable, probably. I mean, he, he was apparently a gentle giant. But I don't think Virginia's that way. She's around Dr. Moon. I don't think we're going to see a gentle giant from Virginia. Even at some point, if Virginia was a nice person, she ain't now. She's with Dr. Moon. Well, I'm telling you, man. Dr. Moon, she going to change things. Here we go with the cop, though. And it's not even going to be... You got to do more than that, player. This match might last the whole time, like the whole 20 minutes that they got for this match, man. I'm telling you. But they looking a little tired right now, I must admit. You look at that expression on George Terry and Gene Duncan when they was getting back up, they was looking real tired, looking like they had a little bit of pain. And George Terry just got kicked in his chest, man. He ain't gonna be able to breathe. Gene Duncan just kicking him right in his chest. He'd be all like, <coughs> <You okay? laughs> Nah, I'm just saying though. That's how Gene Duncan is talking and stuff right now because he out of air. Gene Duncan's still down after that kick to the chest. He's still holding his chest. He's hurt. He might be out of breath. Gene Duncan, I think he was going for that leg drop, though. He didn't want him to get up. Oh, but he may have got caught here. Gene Duncan with his DDT. Oh, my God, with his legs on the ropes. More elevation on the neck and the head. But Gene Duncan, he has to get out of this. He has to kick out or something. That's it. It's over. George Terry puts Gene Duncan down for the count. Let's look back at the highlights of this match. See Gene Duncan, he just keeps George Terry down, tries to go for a cover, didn't work. George Terry flying off the top rope here with that flying clothesline. Tries to take down Gene Duncan there. Wasn't enough to put him away still though. Gene Duncan still kept going throughout this match. And then look at this, he went for his signature leg drop from the top rope, but he didn't get him. George Terry here trying to sneak a victory here at this point. Gene Duncan still had a lot left though, but this is where it came to an end. This is where the match ended for Gene Duncan and he got put to sleep and George Terry put him away. Look at this, look at, look at Gene Duncan here. His eyes rolled in the back of his head. He was out of it. Here is your winner, George Terry. Don't you go anywhere, play 60 Minute Adrenaline Rush. Still got to continue when we return. Also hire Vince Russo or did Dixie Carter hire Vince Russo? Who who brought Vince Russo to fight his own wrestling? He probably just brought himself here. What's going on? What's he gotta say? Let's listen to Vince Russo.
gonna have to kick Vince freaking Russo's and fight on wrestling player. Man, Seth freaking Rollins is gonna have a problem with that. He probably got that copyright or something. I don't know, player, but Vince Russo's in FCW. And who's he talking about? Who's he talking about coming to, coming to FCW Worldwide? Who is Vince Russo bringing to FCW Worldwide? Who is he claiming is gonna be the next world champion? And speaking of the world championship, who's going to be the world champion after tonight? Broken Matt Hardy takes on Sheldon Mondo. By the way, Broken Matt Hardy is a trademark of Anthem Sports Entertainment Sports, or whatever they call it. Yeah, but up next here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see the tag team title tournament continue. Let's take it to the ring. But he's really been getting noticed here in California, which is kind of weird since he's from Texas. But you know what? Whatever. Okay, first of all, just because he's got a cowboy hat doesn't mean he's from Texas. He's actually here from California area. And how do you know that? Did you do your research, player? Because I did mine. Okay, maybe he's probably from Texas. I don't know. He could be from Charlotte. I don't know. I... I Try to get information on Jay Mercer, but he is very popular around the California area. More popular than he is in Texas or wherever he's from. Unless he's from California. But anyways, here comes another guy that's very popular here. Milk making his way to the ring here tonight. Looking to win the tag team titles with Jay Mercer. Man, Milk is overrated in my opinion. But they're going to have to get through Galler. And Jerry Jacobs here tonight. They're gonna do it. Which is gonna be very tough. They're gonna do it here tonight, player. They're gonna get through Gala. They're gonna get through Jerry Jacobs. They're gonna get through Jimmy Jacobs if they have to, player. And Seth Rollins. And take down the age of the fall, player. I don't care who it is. They take it out everybody, player. Okay, first you say Milk is overrated. And then you talk about how they're gonna just win the tag team titles. No, they're not gonna win the tag team titles. They're gonna take everybody out of this tournament. And then you know who's gonna win? I got my money. Wait, Rowdy and, and Raymond got eliminated, didn't they? Damn. All right, well, I'm going with Gala. He ain't gonna, they ain't gonna be able to take down Gala. But if they do, yeah, then they'll win the tag team toss for sure. But they ain't gonna be able to, God damn. All right, player. They ain't gonna be able to take out Gala and Jimmy Jacobs, all right? That's my point. If they do, though, they're gonna win the tag team toss. That's what I was saying, player. You over here confusing me, asking. Questions. Stop asking me questions, player. I'm trying to do my job right now. Are you ever distracted? Okay. Well, here comes Galler. We don't know much about Galler. We saw him on the FZW pilot with Dr. Newton. He is a veteran here at FZW. Not the FZW been around for a very long time, but you know, shortly after we got on television, Galler, who's already part of FZW for a while. He's taking people out. He's injured people. He's hurt people. People that yeah. weren't involved with FZW because of this man. They were never able to be seen on television and grow their audience. Geller ended their careers before they even made, before their career even took off. And tonight we could see another career come to an end. Hopefully we don't at the hands of Gala. But with Gala. I don't like to say anything is possible. With Gallo, I like to say everything is possible. And his tag team partner, the final participant in this tag team match, Jerry Jacobs. Yeah, and Jerry Jacobs, man, is probably the luckiest man in this tag team title tournament because he got a partner that's pretty much unstoppable, undestructible. This dude, man, he lucky, player. He lucky. Maybe not. Gala could turn his back on Jerry, on Jerry Jacobs at any point, take him out, win the tag team toss by himself for all I care, man. 
But we're going to see Jerry Jacobs here in the tag team title tournament. He's got a partner that's in, just an in, incredibly unstoppable player. So it should be interesting to see what happens here tonight, player. Should be real interesting to see what happens, man. I, 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 I'm really... I can't wait for the bell to ring, player. I cannot wait for the bell to ring. I can't wait for this match to start, player. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's see what happens. Let's see what goes down. And let's see who's going to get hurt. That's what I'm saying, player. That's what it's all about here tonight. Somebody gonna get hurt. Here we go. We're a little too excited right now. Here we go. The two men starting. Jerry Mercer and Galler. If anybody can take down Galler, it's Jerry Mercer. The guy is so powerful, so strong. But Galler, he's stronger. He's even more powerful. He's bigger than Jerry Mercer as well. And Jerry Mercer has a pass with bodybuilding. I mean, besides coming out here and investing in a cowboy hat, a lot of people compare Jerry Mercer to wrestling legend Scott Steiner. That's because he's damn near as old as Scott Steiner. Hell, he's probably older than Scott Steiner, for all we know, player. But still, stick it to your point, man. The dude, he is pretty impressive in there, man. Jerry Mercer's impressive dude. He's got to find himself some more creative types, though, man. Gallus probably pissed off that he stole his gimmick. Stole everything except for the man. Oh, player, the referee better watch the hell out. You see a big old dude like Gallus coming in here? You better watch out, player. Jerry Mercer taking a beating in the corner right now. Now he's taking a boot to his chest right now. Making it hard for him to breathe right now. Gallus doing. Oh, God. God. All the referee just got taken yeah, down, like, too. Gallus, all he was trying to do was take a and his boot just landed in the referee's chest by accident. That's how big Galler is, player. <laughs> that boot to the face of Milk was no accident, though. That was definitely on purpose, and Galler scratching the back of Milk. And this ain't one of those scratch my back, I'll scratch your situation. He gonna scratch the hell out of Milk's back until he ain't even got a back. And now Jerry Mercer trying to get involved. He's trying to go up to the top rope, man. I don't see this very often from Jerry Mercer. Yowler right now, like he got confused. He didn't know who the hell he was looking at. Milk and Jerry Mercer might be related. Yeah, that might be his father right now. It might be, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult Jerry Mercer like that. He's a veteran in this business. That might be his grandfather in there. Oh, come on, man. And now look at this, he's squeezing the head of Jerry Mercer. Yowler is just so devastating. It's so scary when he's in there. And Jerry Jacobs is just looking on, just watching all this happen, all this unfold. He hasn't been involved in the match not once, even to help his partner. Y'all oh, no, need to help him. That may be it right there. No, he's That escaped. could be the end of it. That's his finisher. No escape. What the hell is Jerry Jacobs doing? Play. That's your partner. All right, he came in to help him anyway, so that's good. Jerry, Jerry Jacobs getting involved in this match for the first time. That's all he needed. That's all he needed to get the victory for his partner, Gallon, man. Impressive victory from Gallon and Jerry Jacobs. Yeah, I have to admit, that was an impressive victory. Gallon just destroyed everyone in his way. You know, and that's scary. He could win the tag team titles by himself. He doesn't need Jerry Jacobs by himself. Look at this. As soon as Milk came in, he came in, ignored what the referee said, risked a disqualification. Yeah, we gotta take a break, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, play!
Teresa Felt probably would have been the women's champion right now if it wasn't for the big Russian giant that we saw last week make her debut, Virginia. And now Virginia makes her in-ring debut here tonight. I'm surprised when I heard Teresa Felt as the one that wanted this match. I thought Dr. Noon was the one that challenged Teresa to this match or, or some. Even if she did, I didn't expect Teresa to accept it, but I was shocked that Teresa was the one to ask for this match against Virginia. Yep, she's the one that asked for the match. Dr. Noon is the one that accepted on behalf of Virginia. So let's see what happens now when Virginia makes her debut. What the hell? Scary Giant makes her way to the ring with this, this a smoking skull. Uh, great, now we got a Stone Cold Steve Austin mark coming through here. Whatever, man. She's a giant, so I ain't even gonna debate it. She can do whatever the hell she wants. She, she's, she's the first woman I ever saw just step over the top rope right like now. I guess this explains the, the smoke, the, the, the mask. What is it called? A gas, the gas mask that she's wearing. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't get it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't get Galler either or Dr. Noon. I'm, I'm telling you, Dr. Noon did not find these people. She created these people in her lab or something. She's like Frankenstein or something, man. She's scary. And there's the bell that tolls her funeral. Good God, man. She ran into a boot. Ugh. Oh my God! Oh my freaking God! Virginia just tossed her damn near across the whole, damn near tossed her out of the whole arena right now. She's play. not just tall; she's powerful as hell too, by the looks of it. That left hand, that right hand, the body shot here, and then God just hammers her over the neck. God! I, I don't think Teresa should have accepted this match at all. Right now, Virginia is just assaulting her right now. She's brutally assaulting her right now. She needs to find a way to get away from... Oh, look at this. Threatening to put her hands on Dr. Newton right now. I don't think that's such a good idea. The Russian giant looks like she's already... Already just... I don't know what to say. I don't know how to describe this. But she's getting destroyed right now by Virginia. Uh-oh. And what goes up? Must come up. Oh, wait a minute. She landed on her feet, though. You gotta be kidding. Oh, plus she actually lifted up the Russian giant. Virginia, she got it down. And this could be her only chance. There it goes. That was her only chance. Now it's all downhill from here. Or maybe not. Oh, plus. That punch barely did damage. Oh, that one did a little bit more damage. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, playing like a tornado. She comes down, just destroys it. She is just destroying Teresa Phelps right now, but you gotta give it to Teresa Phelps, man. She did her best. Oh my god, what? Teresa Phelps is still trying to fight back. This is amazing. I can't believe it myself. Look at this. Look at this. The fists. Teresa Phelps is on fire. She takes down the giant. And now. Teresa Phelps could have an advantage here. She locks in a submission, and the mask may even come back to haunt Virginia. Uh, or or it may protect her. It may protect her. Oh, play. She got him doozled by that throat. Oh, my God. Oh. <coughs> Just like that, Teresa Phelps gets taken out and destroyed. Oh, play. How's she doing right now? She ain't doing too good, is she? All that, all that she did to Virginia didn't even do nothing to Virginia, man. It didn't work. Bam! Right across her chest, player. And now she's choking the life out of her. Good God almighty, player. She got a family, man. She got a family at home. She probably, she probably got family. I don't she know. She does have a family at home. Her friends and family watching this right now. They have to be concerned for Teresa's well-being right now. Virginia right now. Oh my God, she's not letting up. This freaking giant is just destroying Teresa Phelps right now. Now that mask. 
She's wearing that mask. I'm, I'm concerned that that could be being used as a weapon on the head, but the referee needs to watch out for that. Oh, my God. And she takes it by the throat. And, oh, look at, look at Teresa Phelps still, still fighting back. Still giving everything that she has in this match to continue. And God damn it, she got a boot right to her face. Right in her chest, I mean. Every time she tries something, she gets taken back out. Oh, and now the jawbreaker. Maybe it's not used as a weapon. Oh, there it is. Neck breaker. Neck breaker. One, two, three. Oh, no. Teresa Phelps wasn't able to put her away with a fishing move. She's got to do it again or something. Teresa Phelps. She's trying to slam the giant, but that's not going to work. There's too much weight there. And now, Teresa fell. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Don't get cocky against Virginia like this. That's it. One, two. No, she's still going to continue. She has so much heart. She, got, she, don't she, got has, heart. she ain't got no brains, though. She acting real stupid right now. Just take a look. I don't mean an insult. Teresa Phelps, but you're right. You're actually right, and I agree with you. Oh my god. She needs to take a loss right now. Her career is gonna have a short. Her career is not gonna last too long. Look at this. Look at this. This Russian giant Virginia is choking the hell out of Teresa Phelps right now, player. Choking the life out of her. That would have been it if she wanted to let go right now, man. I think it's, it would have been all over for Teresa Phelps. Oh, it's probably all over anyway. Yeah, it is over. That's it. One, One two. two. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's over. over. That's the three. And the Russian giant Virginia wins this match. And she's on the side of Genesis, the world, the women's world champion right now. That's just insane to me right now. That's how the hell did. Genesis get on Dr. Noon's good side and talk her into trusting her. Do they trust her? They probably don't. They're probably just using her for all we know. Genesis is probably trying to use them, but if she is, that's a stupid plan. After what we saw with Genesis, uh, excuse me, Teresa and Virginia, this is just brutal. Virginia. She's the most dangerous person yeah. in the women's division right now in FZW. Probably broke her nose with that damn big boot right there, player. Ugh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. Don't you go anywhere, though, because we'll be right back with the main event. The world championship match that you've been waiting for. Sheldon Mondo with his greatest challenge yet. Sheldon Mondo defends his world championship against Broken Matt Hardy on Fight Zone Wrestling. Up next. Thunderous crowd for Matt Hardy to become the World Heavyweight Champion. This is his 
Fight Zone Wrestling debut. This is his first match with Fight Zone Wrestling. Will he earn the World Championship in his very first Fight Zone Wrestling match? We're about to find out. There's been a lot of hype for this match all week. And most of the fans have been on the side of broken Matt Hardy. So we're going to see what happens now when he takes on Sheldon Mondo, who has been absolutely unstoppable as our world champion. Because Sheldon Mondo it ain't coming to an end, not tonight, not any night. Sheldon Mondo will remain the wrestling world champion all around the globe. Sheldon Mondo still walking away as Fight Zone Wrestling Champion after this match, but I'm telling you. Melvin Thompson, not even you, Hypnosis. Could Matt Hardy be the man that stops Sheldon Mondo? I think he can. I think he will be. Matt Hardy, he's a former Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Two times he's held that title. And now he's looking to take down Sheldon Mondo and become a three-time World Champion. Let's see what happens here. We, we also must, we must point out that we have Cynthia Sharp ringside, which isn't a good sign for Matt Hardy. We saw how she got involved last week on Fight Zone Wrestling against Melvin, with, with Melvin Thompson. And it cost him the match in my opinion. Sheldon Mondo wouldn't have won that match. I'm telling you, he wouldn't have won that match. Sheldon Mondo taking on Matt Hardy, and for whatever reason, Matt Hardy is here. I don't know why. I, I guess Dixie Carter, she's a favorite of Matt Hardy's maybe. Or maybe Carter Ramirez, he wants somebody that will stop Sheldon Mondo. He personally does not like Sheldon Mondo as well. The guy's a great athlete. Horrible attitude, though. But maybe, just maybe, Matt Hardy's the guy to stop Sheldon Mondo here tonight in his tracks. I hope so. If I wasn't able to do it, I hope Matt Hardy's able to do it. I've, of course, been a huge fan of Matt Hardy all my life. The Hardy Boys, both Jeff and Matt. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Matt and Jeff, Matt, I want to get your opinions on Anthem Sports copyright, Broken Matt Hardy and the Broken Brilliance and all that. I mean, Matt Hardy, he says he came up with the Anthem Sports saying, nah, that belongs to us, player. What's your opinion Let's Let's on? not talk about that controversy right now. Let's focus on the Hardy Boys. Uh, excuse me, Matt Hardy. Let's focus on Matt Hardy because Jeff isn't here. Rebby Sky's not ringside. We don't even see Senior Benjamin. But right now we see Matt Hardy. He's going up against Sheldon Mondo for the World Championship. And we got to watch out for Cynthia Sharp. Let's focus on Fight Zone Wrestling right now. And what we have going on right now, we have our own battles that we're sorting out right now. Matt Hardy with the neck breaker on Sheldon Mondo. He's doing a great job so far. Uh-oh, we're going for the cover right now. We're going for the cover right now. Oh, that ain't going to be it, man. I got to give you I gotta give you credit, though, man. You dodged that question just as good as women dodging. Oh, that's a great joke. Nice going there. Look at this. Oh, Matt was trying to tornado punch Sheldon Mondo and didn't work out. Sheldon Mondo met him with the right hand of his own, but Matt Hardy's able to keep the momentum on his side anyway. The funniest jokes are when they have a little bit of truth to him. Isn't Becky and Taylor your only girlfriend? Ha! Got him. Matt Hardy was going for the side effect right now. 
That didn't happen though. Look at this. Sheldon Mondo, he might be. Oh! Swinging Matt Hardy around back and forth here. And the match has just gotten away though. And they got a lot of, a lot of aggression here. A lot of. A lot of tension here in that it's ring. Total mayhem tension in that ring right now, player. Complete chaos. What the hell? Cynthia Sharp just smacked Matt Hardy across the mouth. The referee, the referee is sending her out of the ring. He's sending her out of the arena, player. And this match, Sheldon Mondo right now. Uh oh. He's trying to take out Matt Hardy. That didn't work. He don't know what to do, man. Sheldon Mondo panicking right now, but it's all good. He don't need to panic. He got the skill. He got the power to win this match. He gonna win it all on his own. There's no excuses now, man. Matt Hardy shouldn't have been stepping up on Cynthia Sharp like that. She was just protecting herself. That was self-defense. And it's sad that the referee's gonna throw her out. What the hell? Yeah, and now Sheldon Mondo's grabbing a chair in front of the referee. He's trying to get disqualified right now so he can keep the title. And that's not gonna happen. Matt Hardy, he's gonna get that chair out of here. Oh my god, oh! Thankfully Matt Hardy, he counters it. Luckily he blocks that shot. Sheldon Mondo almost getting counted out, almost getting disqualified. But Matt Hardy's gonna keep things going. He's gonna keep the match going. And Sheldon Mondo is the one that's in trouble here. Oh, and look at that! Spin kick to the face. That roundhouse kick by Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy's in complete control. Thunder's crowd again, Chandelier, but he took out them legs! Matt Hardy just got his leg deleted right now, player. <laughs> the ligaments in his leg have become absolutely delete. I mean, really? obsolete. You almost had to run in the night right there, and then you ruined it. Nice going, sir, but... Nice German suplex by, by Sheldon Mondo. And right now, he's still trying to keep things going. Matt Hardy's still trying to keep the momentum going. Matt Hardy going for a quick roll up here. One. Sheldon Mondo's not going to have any of that. He, jump, he throws Matt Hardy off of him. And a thunderous right hand to the jaw of Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy able to counter it, though. Look at, oh, he takes out the leg again. Elbow Ooh. drop again. His whole elbow, man, now. took out the whole face of Matt Hardy right now. Probably. Look at his elbow over the back now. Ooh, he got them kidneys messed up now. Sheldon Mondo is tearing Matt Hardy apart right now, man. How can Matt Hardy come back from this? Let me give you an answer, cause that's a that's not even a real question. I forgot what it's called when you when you ask a question, and you don't mean to be answered. But I'm answering anyways. Matt Hardy's gonna lose. I forgot what the question was, so it don't even matter right now. I'm trying to pay attention to the match. Matt Hardy's got the chair though. He wants to be careful. He doesn't want to get disqualified right now. Sheldon Mondo might be just playing games right now with Matt Hardy with that steel chair here, trying to rope him in. And, now Sheldon Mondo's in the corner though. The referee's gonna get that steel chair out of the ring here. Elbow over the head, watch out ref. The referee almost got hit there, he needs to be careful. One, two, Matt Hardy not able to get the three count though. Sheldon Mondo gets the shoulder up just in time and he's still the world champion for now anyways. Matt Hardy. Might be looking to delete Sheldon Mondo, but Mondo counters it. Right hand by Matt Hardy, however. Kick to the midsection. And a snapmare to take him down. Matt Hardy goes for a clothesline, but Sheldon Mondo moves out of the way. Ah, Drop play. kick. Drop kick the hell out of him, too. He still got him going, though, man. He still got him going. Mondo is just too spectacular, too phenomenal. It's amazing, man. That discus clothesline takes Matt Hardy out, man. Sheldon Mondo has, he has, his, he has the leg hook. That's fun, the he got the leg He's hook. He's got to stay on the road spread. Man, hooking too that count. leg couldn't work out, man. Come on, he didn't have the leg. He had to. He has fun the ropes. Matt Hardy almost getting beat multiple times in this match, but Sheldon Mondo almost got beat a few times in this match as well. 
Right now, it's relatively even between these two, I like to believe. Matt Hardy and Sheldon Mondo, though, they're still going throughout this match. Right now, though, Sheldon Mondo has the advantage over Matt, over Matt Hardy. And right now, Matt Hardy is doing his best to hold on. How can you break something that is already broken? Matt Hardy gets hung up on the ropes there. But he rolls out of the way of that elbow and drop kick right over the back, right over the arm of Sheldon Mondo. Sheldon Mondo trying to get back up to his feet here. Side effect by Matt Hardy. He hits it. Matt Hardy. Is he going to be the not new World happen. Heavyweight Champion? Here we go. It's not going to happen. Matt Hardy will not win the World Championship this way. Play. Sheldon, you got failed. He reverses the twist of fate. Are you kidding me? Drop kick. Took him out. If Sheldon Mondo beats Matt Hardy, no excuses, then I'll give that to Sheldon Mondo. He deserves to be the World Heavyweight Champion. But so far, he hasn't proved himself in my opinion. He proved himself in the tournament against the Brain. However, he's yet to prove himself against the opponents afterwards. He hasn't proved himself to me. He hasn't proved himself to Melvin Thompson. Come on, man. And there it is. The Muscle Beach Slam. Might be enough to end it right here, man. Matt Hardy is at two. Oh, oh come he kicked on. out. Wait. He got the shoulder on. Three. The referee's taking a long time. Oh, that was a perfect I'm telling you, he's taking a call. real long time talking. making that hey, count. What the oh, hell is he doing? Go. What the Take hell is this? He ain't counting way too damn slow. He's taking anyway. out the Play. referee. Show the Mondo. He shouldn't be putting his hands on the referee right now. Come on. And now he's got the steel chair. Matt Hardy's back up to his feet, though. He's well aware of it. And he's not going to let that happen. Matt Hardy is going to win this world championship. Just when I was giving Sheldon Mondo credit, he proves on, to me him. why he shouldn't be oh, no. world champion no. and why Matt Hardy will win no. right here, right now. You yes. got me this is no. Come on, man. There we Sheldon go. Sheldon Mondo. Yes. He should be world champion. Take the chair. What, what the hell? What the hell what is that? Happen? That's a... Is that three? That had to be a three Play, count. Man, the crowd got so hyped we lost power to the show, Play. What are you to win lose kidding? power. This is another, this is another bullcrap call from, this is from Sheldon Mondo. He paid somebody to turn the lights out. I guarantee to you that's what he did. He, he's doing this so he can win the match again, I'm telling uh, you. Ah, you're letting your imagination get the best of you, Play. This ain't got nothing Yo, to do somebody. with Sheldon. That's Jeff. What the hell? Oh my, oh, what the Play? hell? What the hell is Jeff Hardy doing? Hey, that's Jeff Hardy! What the hell is going on? Why is Jeff Hardy assaulting his brother? What the hell is going on here? Oh, Brian! That's the charismatic enigma! Jeff Hardy! It's Jeff Hardy! But he's attacking his own brother! With the steel chair, I, I don't, I don't understand this. What, 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 what the hell? What, what is going on here? Oh God, damn, Brian! He busted his damn head open with that chair, man. He busted his skull open with that steel chair, man. Man, Hardy has no idea where he's at right now. Jeff Hardy was going for that swan tom bomb, it looked like. And then Matt Hardy. I mean, this, this is your hero right here, player. This is your hero, Jeff Hardy. He beat down Matt Hardy. You wanted him to win the match so bad. All of a sudden, Jeff Hardy come up. Explain this, player. Explain what your hero's doing right now. Twist of fate. To me, that's what he's doing. That's I, I don't I know what's going on, okay? I don't understand this. Jeff Hardy. Just cost Matt the world championship. The swan torn off the top rope for what? Why? By the way, I want to point out that Sheldon Mondo is still world heavyweight champion since this match had to end at this point. You've done enough. And now he's going up again. Come on. Oh my God, Jeff. Y'all wanted yourselves a brother Nero. Y'all found yourselves brother Nero. Brother Nero is here in person.